Love Evolved is here with all of the boosted rates and new items and chibis that you need to know about. And it's going to change the game for you whilst this event is active. You're right kids, it's Ross Clark and this is the full comprehensive guide on everything you need to know about Love Evolved. Whether you want to earn everything legit or cheat, as along the way I will be supplying summon codes throughout. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around and let's get into it. So the first thing you need to know, chocolate boxes, you need them. How do you get them? Well, one way is to mate your dinos. And upon laying an egg, there's a chance it'll drop a chocolate box or some dino candy. You can improve your odds and make this a lot simpler by taming a heck load of dodos and then get them all mating at once. And here we go, one's dropped a chocolate box for me. You can also go fishing for chocolate boxes and dino candy, which is beneficial as you can get chibis as well. And you'll need to find these, the coals with hearts above them. Not any fish will do, it needs to be these fish with hearts fluttering out of their head. And simply bide your time awaiting to catch them with a fishing rod and bait. In my case, I'm using honey. And then wait it out for the button bashing mini game. As you can see in my case, I bagged a few chibis, but you can definitely get chocolates and candy. And what are they good for? Well, chocolates are great for taming. If you force feed it to any dino you've knocked out, you will improve the affinity by 50%. Just be mindful to keep their preferred food in there as well, or else that affinity will drop quick. And you can also use them to fully heal your dinos, which is beneficial for the likes of boss running or tanking a base. But there is a cooldown per dino, so don't think it's that OP. Dino candies can provide a temporary movement speed buff, as well as altering the colours, but they won't pass on to your offspring. And all of the skins and chibis can be crafted in a cooking pot, where you'll need to meet the requirements to craft whatever you require. Chibis, there's still a big RNG chance on what you actually get, but as you can see here, I managed to get the rarest chibi of all, the Crystal Wyvern. And what are the cosmetics you can get in the event? First up, we've got the lovely Love Heart glasses, keeping the sun out of your lovely eyes. Then we've got the Halo headband, which doesn't look like much of a halo when you've got an afro. Then there's the Cupid top with wings that won't make you fly. And then the Cupid dress, so you can make all your friends jealous. And then we've got the Love Heart shield. Ready to rock in war, not love. Then there's the bow and arrow skin shooting heart arrows that isn't going to strike love. And the cute and cuddly teddy bear grenade that certainly isn't that cute and cuddly when you throw it. There's also the love shackles, which I can't show you as I've got no one to bind them with. Bit kinky, but there you go. And then the two emotes which you'll find in a special Love Evolved pinwheel. You've got the heart, spreading that love. And then the very flirty but somewhat scary emote. The new chibis to the roster, you've got the Mesopithecus. Which is going to strike fear in your foes by its scary ugly face. The otter looking very ottery and not much else. The velo, the spindles bound creature that's that looks like it doesn't want to be your friend. And the Enforcer Chibi, a mini robot that doesn't climb walls here. Finally, the rare Crystal Wyvern Chibi. Looking pretty mean and cute with no breath attacks on this one. And that's it, that wraps up the full Love Evolved event. Don't forget you've got three times breeding, taming, XP and harvesting as well as imprinting, making this the best event to get breeding happy valentine's day to everyone my name's Ross clark don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always peace out